Let's go ahead and replace our outer tie rod. It's located right here behind your wheel. And process for the driver's side is the same for the passenger side. Using a 22 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Let's go ahead and remove our wheel and set it aside. Let's go ahead and loosen our jam nut here. Now that we have our jam nut loose, let's go ahead and loosen the nut for our outer tie rod end. Using our 21 millimeter, let's go ahead and loosen and remove that nut. Now that we have our nut removed, let's go ahead and pop this out. What we want to do is go ahead and remove this, but what we're going to do is count the revolutions that it takes to remove it. That way there, when we install our new part, we'll get the same thread count and get a preliminary alignment for this new part. I'll just use a crayon and I'll mark on the inside of the frame rail how many turns it took to remove that. Let's go ahead and thread on our outer tie rod end. All right, we count our 24 turns. I'm just going to bring that jam nut up close to it, not gonna tighten it yet. Let's remove our tie rod end nut. I'm gonna line this up on our knuckle and install this. And install our castle nut. You want to pay attention to this here. Once we torque this down, you want to watch for the hole in your ball joint stud. We're going to line that up with the hole in the, or a notch in the castle nut and install our cotter pin. I'm going to go ahead and tighten our outer tie rod end nut. We're going to tighten this to 22 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. Now at this point, let's match up the hole in our ball joint stud to the notch in our castle nut and install our cotter pin. Install our cotter pin. I'm gonna feed this through and it comes through the other side here. Let's go ahead and bend this over. And tap this up into place. And then we're just gonna snip off the excess. and tighten down our jam nut. And make sure that's pretty snug. Once that's tight, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our outer tie rod. Just level this off. Let's go install your wheel. Let's get a lug nut started. Go ahead and snug these lug nuts down. Let's get torque down our lug nuts to 130 foot pounds.
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.